Hey there everybody, Nathan Elson here and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you how you can take two V flats and position them to make light that looks exactly like this. Let's just get into it. Okay, so here we are in the studio, and as you can see, I'm running a three light setup while also using two V flats from V Flat World to create that slit of light that's falling on the model and onto the backdrop. My main light is an AD600 Pro with just the reflector attached, and it's shooting through two V flats that are slightly angled and about a foot width apart. Now, the V flats themselves are being held into position using two C stands that have super clamps attached. And then I also wedged a couple of sandbags underneath each V flat just to give it a little bit more stability and take a little bit of pressure off of those C clamps. Now, this main light is metered to f5.6 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. So that means that my camera also needs to be set to f5.6 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. Now the second light in this setup is another 8600 Pro with a Profoto large deep umbrella with a diffusion panel attached. Now from this angle, you can see that the light is positioned so that it's facing away from the backdrop, but it's still coming across the model's face. The reason for that is I didn't want the light to be hitting onto the backdrop and causing a bunch of fill onto that shadow detail that I was trying to create, but I still wanted to bring in a little bit of light onto the model's face so that it didn't go into complete darkness. We still brought out some of those details. Now you'll notice here that I'm also using the black side of my V-flats. And the reason for that is I didn't want any of the light coming from my fill light to bounce off of those V-flats and come back in towards my model and take away any of the shaping that is being created from my main light. Now the fill light is metered to F2 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. Now the final light in all of this is my hair light, which is up above the backdrop coming over and it's just adding a little bit of light to the dome of her head and onto her shoulders. And this light is mirrored to f2.8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. Okay, so now I just wanna take you guys through each light independently so you can see how all of these lights come together to create an image. It's one thing just to get the settings. It's another thing to see each light acting independently. So on this first shot, this is just the main light. Like I was saying, this is at f5.6 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. And as you can see, it's a hard light. It's very, very beautiful, but it's causing a lot of darkness on the one side of the model's face. And I didn't want to lose any of that detail. So this is just the fill light itself now. And like I said, this was metered to F2 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100. So it's not properly exposed. It's just adding a little bit of light into those dark areas just to bring some of that detail back, but we're not losing the shaping of that main light. And then this, the last light, the hair light, is metered to f2.8 at 1 200th of a second at ISO 100, and it's just adding a little bit of light onto the crown of her head, onto her shoulders, just adding just little hints of detail back into the image. And now when we combine all of these lights together, this is what the final image looks like. <laughs> So with that, hopefully you guys picked up a few things from this that you can use in your shoots going forward. If you have any comments or questions, use the comments box down below. That's what it's there for. And if you guys are looking at picking up some V-flats, I cannot recommend vflatworld.com enough. Now their V-flats, they fold down into a quarter of their size, making them extremely portable. They've got a white side and a black side, so you can use them for flags or bounce. You can use them as a backdrop. They're just the most versatile, V-flats that I've ever used in my entire life. I will never go back to a non-collapsible V-flat for as long as I'm a photographer. So that being said, check out vflatworld.com if you're looking for a set of V-flats. I do not promote a lot of companies on this channel, but this is one that I definitely stand behind. That being said, thank you guys for tuning in as always, and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Cheers. Cheers.